In this video, I'm going to go over force due to a volume distribution of charges. Let's say we have an object with the volume V and have a charge Q distributed in it. Charge Q. And it is uniformly distributed. And as we know, rho is a called a volume charge density. Volume charge density. Now consider a small element of volume, this cube, the green cube here, I'm going to name it dV. Then the charge on this element is going to be, uh, let's say the charge is going to be dQ. And the volume charge density can be written as rho is equal to dq over dv. So that way we can find dq is equal to rho times dv. So that's the charge on this small volume element. Now first of all, we're going to write the equation for electrostatic force that is acting on charge q naught due to the charge on this volume element and the formula for that is going to be d of f equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dq the charge on this element times q naught this charge over here over the distance between them let's say the distance is r and represented by unit vector r cap r square and r cap now if we want to calculate the total force acting on charge q naught due to the charge on the whole volume then we have to integrate this equation or this force over the volume V. So the total force F is going to be integration over volume V of dF and it's going to be integration volume V 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times I'm gonna plug in the value of dQ from here into this and it's going to be rho dV dot q naught over r square r cap now i'm going to take out the constants out of integration so q naught over 4 pi epsilon naught integration over the volume v so rho uh, times dv over r square into rho cap. So this is the formula for the total force that is acting on this charge Q naught due to the charge on this whole volume over here, this yellow cube. Very simple. Now let's say if we want to calculate the force due to a spherical shell and the charge is distributed in the shell then we can write the rho the volume charge density is going to be q over the volume of the sphere which is basically let's say if the radius is r of the sphere then rho is going to be 4 over 3 pi r q and remember this R is different compared let's say this is a capital R just to differentiate both R's then you just plug in the value of Rho over here then you can calculate the force of force on any charge Q naught due to the charges distributed in the sphere only thing is you need to plug in this Rho over here all right that's it. Thanks for watching the video guys and please do share and subscribe to my channel because that motivates me to make more videos. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.